Well, welcome to Community at Home. Uh, today's uh, Friday, May 15th, and we are uh, in the in the situation of life that we're in, and we've been in now for a couple of months. I know the big question that's on everybody's mind is, uh, when do we get to come back to, to church? When do we get to regather as a church? And I think it's a great question. I think it's an important question. I'm not sure it's the right question. And this is what I mean by that. I think the right question is, is how do we regather? And that is the place that we're in as a staff. Uh, it's the place that, that we're in and trying to decide what is the best way for us to regather. There's still so many things that we don't know. There's so many unknowns. We don't know what the the uh, we don't know what our governor is going to say. We don't know what parameters are going to be be put on. We know that we're currently in phase one of this the of the state's um, orders. Uh, it looks like phase three or phase four is when when large gatherings of people are going to be allowed. And, and and we don't know if that's phase three or phase four. And we also don't know how long these phases are going to last. And so we know that this this coming Sunday, May the 17th, we're having um, online services like we've been having. And then I would say after this point, it's really going to be week to week. Uh, we're looking at some ways to do this. Uh, we Again, we don't know. Uh, what the guidelines are going to be. But if we're allowed to have uh, community groups gather, then we're going to do that. And uh, there's going to be times when I come to a community group and maybe give the sermon live to a specific community group. So if you're in a community group and you want to meet outside or you want to, uh, you're 10 or less and uh, you want to do that, then uh, let Cheryl know. Uh, and Cheryl will be contacting you. We've also talked about what that would look like when children are involved to be able to bring somebody who will teach Sunday school lesson while the adults are doing um, their side of things. Uh, so we're, we're looking at some things like that. What would it be like to have watch parties if we, if we can have groups of, you know, 25 or less? Again, all that's going to depend on the guidelines. If it comes out and, we can, and it's a percentage, you know, percentage of our thing and we can have services, then we're, we'll have services and we'll let you know what those are going to be. The thing you really need to know right now is on May 17th, this coming Sunday, it's going to be what it's been. And then stay tuned next week because uh, we'll see what May 24th is going to look like. Uh, I know you're watching the news. I know you're seeing things. I know you're looking around. There's some churches that are coming back. There's some churches that are not. Uh, I know in the state of California, according to the Christian Post, uh, about 3,000 churches have formed a network, and they say they're coming back on May the 31st, regardless of what the government says. Um, so we'll see. I, I, we're obviously closer than we've ever been. But here's a really the thing that I want you to hear uh, from me as your pastor. I want us to love each other. I want us to love each other. We're not going to agree on this. Okay? And, the, and we do not need to be divisive. And so the phrase for me, for me, I like the way Joshua says it, the book of Joshua. He says, for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. Uh, so practice saying for me. For me, I feel uh, more comfortable staying at home and doing online church until I know absolutely sure it's safe. For me, I'm ready to go back as soon as the door is open for me. And let's not judge each other. Let's not make any proclamations to each other or, or any about each other. Uh, we're going to love each other and we're going to support each other uh, and be praying for us as a staff uh, and me as your pastor to make the best decision that's going to be the best for everyone. Uh, so uh, Keep praying, keep listening, uh, stay away from the division, stay away from the judging, stay away from that stuff. Uh, we, we know we've got multiple plans. We've got a phase one, a phase two, a phase three. We got to, if this happens, if this happens, if this happens, we, we've got that down, we're working on it. Uh, we're gonna have that. And when it fits, then we'll share that. I wanna close out our time today reading from a little book. Uh, it's called Faith's Checkbook. This little devotional is written by Charles Spurgeon, who uh, pretty famous pastor, lived a long time ago. My mom sent this to me. And uh, so I'm going to read uh, from, uh, from the devotional. Uh, for this is uh, for in May. 
It's called Surgery for Healing. Hosea 6.1 Come and let us return to the Lord, for he has torn, but he will heal us. He has stricken, but he will bind us up. It is the Lord's way to tear before he heals. This is the honest love of his heart and the sure surgery of his hand. He also bruises before he binds up or else it would be uncertain work. The law comes before the gospel. I love that. That is amazing. The law comes before the gospel. The sense of need before the supply of it. Is the reader now under the convincing, crushing hand of the Spirit? This is a preliminary, this is preliminary to healing and binding up. Listen to this. Do not despair. But come to the Lord with all your wounds, bruises, and sores. He alone can heal, and he delights to do it. Let us show him our gaping wounds and beseech him to know his own work and complete it. Will a surgeon make an incision and then leave his patient to bleed to death? Will the Lord pull down our old house and then refuse to build us a better one? Never. Now, I want to read that last again. Will the Lord pull down our old house and then refuse to build us a better one? Never. Life's changing. Church is different. Our expectations and what we've been used to for a long time has been pulled down. Is God going to leave us in that situation? No. He's going to build it. And he's going to build it better than it ever was. And my faith is is in him, the builder, not in any guidelines, not in any politicians, and certainly not in my own wisdom. I'm going to trust him to build it. And we're going to be faithful to follow his leading. Stay strong. Hope to see you very soon.